Hello, my name is Maria Toka and today I'm going to show you how to create this chrome liquid text effect in Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to start with creating a new document. It's A4 standard format, 210 by 297 millimeters, 300 resolution RGB create. So the first thing you need to type your text and then when you will be choosing the typeface I'd recommend you choosing something with round shapes. I've already prepared my text, I customized it a little bit. Also if you want me to make a tutorial on how to make this custom typography let me know in the comments. So you need to make sure that the color of your text is white. Just choose white. Uh, if you're editing the text but in my case it's a rasterize layer so I do it the different way I, I'm just pressing command and I so the first thing you need to do is to convert layer to smart object then we're gonna go to layer style panel by clicking twice at this area of your layer and the first style that we're gonna apply is gradient overlay yeah, I'm gonna choose the standard black to white gradient or uh, linear style capacity something about 58% maybe the scale is 100% and angle 46 degrees yeah I'm pretty happy with this and then it's bevel and emboss and here we need to adjust it to our text I'm gonna put the depth 115 size a little bit smaller Soften is angle 132 and 64 degrees to make this very subtle effect. I'm gonna increase the opacity for shadows, highlights as well, but not as much. So the next thing you need to do is to duplicate this layer by clicking Command and J or Ctrl and J. Then we're gonna bring the fill parameter down to zero. We're doing it to make sure that the layer itself is empty and we'll be able to see only the effects that we applied to this layer. Then we're going to open this effect panel, layer style, and we're going to cancel the gradient overlay. And instead we're going to choose inner glow. Yeah, I'd recommend you choosing any color that you want just to make it a little bit more interesting. Like I'm pretty happy with green. All these settings are good for my case. So I'm going to leave them like that. Then I'm going to go to bevel and emboss again. And I'm going to change it. Increase the depth down to say 95. Increase the size 70. Soften a bit less using the same gloss contour. Oh, angle opacity a bit more and less for the shadow something like that okay so as you can see it has more volume right now and the next thing we're gonna duplicate this layer again by clicking command J or control J we're going to layer style again by double click on this effects then we're gonna cancel in the glow and we're gonna change the bevel and emboss. I'm gonna increase the depth, size 46, soften, say nine. I'll leave the angle and gloss contour the same way. We're gonna bring down the opacity seven and 61 is for shadows. Okay, we're almost done, but the last step can change everything a lot. And now we're gonna go to the panel and uh, we're gonna add an adjustment layer, which is called gradient map. Then we open this gradient spectrum and we're gonna adjust it. Here we wanna add more levels with highlights and shadows to make that liquid chrome effect. I'd recommend you add some color and make it more like interesting and realistic but it also depends on your background because chrome tends to reflect everything around it and what I'm gonna use here I'm gonna add some white levels as well a little bit of blue like green blue and all colors I'm gonna use they are very subtle they're not too dark or too light they, yeah they can be too light but not too dark
Okay, I just finished playing around with it. So we're pretty much done. And I'm just gonna add a background and a couple of sparkles to increase this glowy effect. And I'm gonna get back to you in just a moment. So this is pretty much the result of this uh, chrome liquid effect. I hope you will try it yourself. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe to see more and see you next time.